Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I just talk about all things wellness, hormones, and skin. So if that's something you're interested in, then feel free to stick around. Yesterday, I put on my Instagram stories saying that I'm gonna start posting more on YouTube and what kind of content did everyone wanna see. And loads of people said day in the life, it's like self care stuff, um, just like vlogs. So I thought today we'd do a little self care evening. Just like show you some of the things I've been up to today. Um, I am just gonna have like a full body shower and everything. So I'm gonna show you all of the products and skincare and everything I'm gonna be using. I got some PR today, so I'll run you through all of that. And yeah, so I thought I'd bring you along with me on my little day in case any of you are interested. Today I got a really big parcel from this brand called Numbuzen. <laughs> I need to learn how to say that and they sent me loads so they sent me a little card um they sent me a sunscreen some essence pads uh these like brightening pads uh green tea pads vitamin c this lovely little toner but then they also sent me a little headband and a little mirror Hey guys, I thought this is so cute because I haven't had, I've never ever ever had a handheld mirror and this is so good for traveling. And then they also sent me this deep sleep mask, which I thought would be a face mask, but it's not, let me just show you. But it's kind of like, yeah, it's a serum, but it's called the deep sleep mask. They also kindly sent me this purple complex moisture balancing smoothing cream. That is quite the mouthful. And then this brand called Coats sent me this product, which is a toning milk. Genuinely, you have to like squeeze this out. Like it is a thick toner, but it has great ingredients if any of you are interested in ingredients. And then Some By Me sent me three little products. I'm very excited for this one. It is an SPF 50, but how cute is that product? Like. She's so adorable and she's got great ingredients. It says on the box that it's non-comedogenic and that is what we, that is what we love. We love to hear it. Then they also kindly sent me their Miracle Cream and their Miracle Toner, which are like both like the tea tree range. But yeah, also I'm not, I feel like with this camera, I've got some kind of blurring filter on, even though you can see all my skin down here. Oh no, maybe it's gone off now. Can you guys see? I feel like it puts a blurring, yeah. It's whenever it goes into portrait mode. And now it's not in portrait mode. Okay, guys, I will learn how to fix that because I'm not one to use filters on my account, but for now, you guys know that I'm not putting it on. Um, but yeah, I got this camera literally yesterday. It is the Sony ZDISS Mark I. If that means anything to any of you. But yeah, ignore all of like the boxes in the back. I'm yet to sort out the PR. Um, but yeah, so we're having an everything shower today, which is, I'm not gonna lie, it's not ever really my favorites of days, but I am starting to enjoy them a lot more because I'm like starting to use like new products and it's like exciting whenever I get in the shower. But yeah, so before I get in the shower, I am gonna dry brush. So I might just show you like my dry brushing routine because a lot of people ask like, how do you even dry brush? What is it even for? And I just thought, why not show you? Maybe I should go into the bathroom. I think I've got everything I need. I always make a little, like, everything shower sack <laughs> to take with me into the bathroom. It's probably a tiny bit extra. So, I'm all the way back here, so I'm trying to show you as much as possible. I have just got a little sports bra on. And yeah, so the reason that I dry brush is to help with lymphatic drainage. So, a lot of like acne and things are caused by like your lymph fluids not being passed properly through your body and your lymph essentially carries all of like the toxins and things so if they're not moving through your body then they're staying and then causing acne or whatever so yeah um i'm just gonna show you my routine it's not perfected um i'm not a pro at doing this whole lymphatic dry brushing thing but essentially on the bottom half, so on my legs, I brush upwards. And then on my tummy and back, I brush downwards. And then this is like split in half because we have lymph nodes in our armpits. So on like my back 
and my chest and arms. I brush towards my armpit and the same on the other side. But it'll be easier to show you once I'm doing it. But yeah, cue the music. Baby, you give me eyes and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. You're some kind of My memory card did just get full, so I am on another one now, but I feel like you saw me do one arm anyway, so you got the gist of it, but it's just like straight everything to your armpit on the left side, everything to your armpit on the right, on the right side. Um, but yeah, it's time for my everything shower. Um, I'm just going to show you some of the products I'm going to use in the shower. To wash my hair, I use the Aveeno Oats collection. I use their shampoo and conditioner. These are great for your hair. There's no parabens, no sulfates, really simple ingredients and also won't cause breakouts on your face. To wash my body, I use the simple hypoallergenic hair and body wash. Never used it on my hair, but it's like a really clean brand. But the main bit of my hair routine is this scalp massager. If you're not using a scalp massager, it makes it so much easier for when you're washing your hair, it froths up literally like immediately. Yeah, I'm gonna jump in the shower now. I'm back from my shower. I've just put on this cute little matching sweat set from Goose and Gander. I got it for my birthday. But yeah, it's time to do my hair. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but my hair is naturally very wavy. And I did get products out to use in my hair. Let me just go and get them. <laughs> yeah, the haircut I've got to use today is this five in one styling treatment from Living Proof and this Avida Damage Remedy? So, we're going to be testing those out today. I don't, oh no, I have got my hair brush on. And if you've got like curly or like really wavy hair, I know everyone says don't brush your hair when it's wet, but if I don't brush my hair when it's wet, it is never going to untangle when it's dry. So I'm just going to brush it out. It said use on towel dried hair. So I think I might just need to dry it a little bit more. I have got a new styling tool, which is the Babyliss Hydro Fusion 4-in-1 Hair Dryer Brush. But I don't know. I don't think I can be bothered with that today. Only, or well maybe I can. Maybe I should. Should I, guys? I think I should, shouldn't I? Okay, I will use it. But I was gonna say I can't be bothered because I'm going out tomorrow night and I always put my hair in a slick back bun just because clubbing with your hair down it's too hot my hair goes sweaty and then it goes like curly because it's wet like with sweat and it's just it's not a fun time but yeah actually I'll tell you about my plans tomorrow so tomorrow all of the girls are going on a night out but before the night out me and my friend Sophie are going to do, it's essentially like ghetto golf, if you know what that is. Um, so it's basically golf when like you drink. I'm not gonna drink, but like I'm just there for the crazy golf. <laughs> um, so we're gonna do that tomorrow evening and then meet all of the girls and then we're gonna go clubbing. But it was my birthday on Monday. So this is kind of like mine and Soph's like thing for my birthday. So that should be fun. Um, I don't know if I've got any else planned. I'm meant to be going to Reading on Thursday, but I'm seeing Emily later. Like, I'm meant to be going with Emily down to Reading, but I've got a feeling we're gonna sell our tickets. Like, she was like, should we talk about it later? I was like, yeah, but I kind of want to sell mine just because I've got like so much brand work around that time and so many like drafts that need to be sent off and things I need to review. And it's, and then I'm going away early September. So it just feels like it's a bit of a time crunch for me to get everything done. And then I go to uni on the 15th of September. <laughs> and it's currently like the 18th of August. So, here. Yeah. Okay. I'm just gonna dry my hair a bit more with the towel. But yeah, one thing I have been doing more so for my for my like not really my self-care but more just like my mental health 
is writing things down on paper because like, I used to do this and then I kind of was like, well, what's the difference between writing it down on my notes and writing it down on paper, do you know what I mean? But like I was finding on my phone, I wasn't really taking what I was writing down seriously because like I would just delete it at the end of the day if I didn't do it. Whereas if I've written it down, it's like, oh, I can't take that off and it's not going anywhere. So my hair just gets so matted. Okay, so should I use both of these? Are they both just? Work a small amount of product into hands, apply through damp hair and comb. What's this one? Apply to damp hair, blow dry. Okay, I think we use this one first then. So this is the Aveda one. I did just drop some, but luckily I have my towel beneath me. Because I do need some help with my damaged hair because I did get it bleached two weeks ago. All right, and then I said comb well to distribute. I was making my hair look glossy. Once I've got the blow dryer on it, my hair is not going to look glossy. I, f I do feel like it's always the way, like you always want what you don't have. But the thing with my curly hair is like, I don't, oh, it's not about the way it looks. It's about the hassle. Like, I don't get up and do my makeup every day. Like, I'm not like, it's not like I'm not that kind of girl. It's just like, I just, I mean, I, I really like admire girls that do that because it's so much effort every single day. But also from like a self-confidence thing, the only times I've ever worn makeup heavily, like on a regular basis in my life is when I've had acne. So it's like a real like mental thing. And like at the end of the day, taking off makeup and then seeing like spots and things, like it has made like negative connotations in my mind of, of makeup. Not because I think makeup's bad for your skin, because like, makeup can be great and like there's makeup that's got like skincare and stuff like that but it's more just like the way that taking it off used to make me feel it's like almost just like I'd rather just be able to accept myself the way I am not that you don't accept yourself if you wear makeup but I feel like you guys will know what I mean sometimes I just have a hard time with my self-confidence when like after a period of time where I've been wearing a lot of makeup she is all brushed through and now of course we have to put on heat protectant Remember guys, heat protectant. So I'm just gonna use the GHD heat protectant spray. Worker in there. This is such a random video. Like, I literally know nothing about hair care or anything. And here I am. <laughs> Here's the tutorial. Um, I did put this in by the way, the living proof perfect hair, perfect hair day. We're gonna have a perfect hair day today. Okay guys? Okay, so. With this babyless thing, I can't use the round brush. I'm not, I'm not that high tech. Maybe I'll just use, what's the difference? Cause I don't know if you guys can see, there's two brushes, but like, what's the difference? Do they both not do the same thing? Is there a booklet in here? This is it with the round brush on, but I'm not even gonna attempt that with my hair wet. Like, it, I, I don't have the skills at all right now. Oh, there is a booklet. Nice. Oh, there's not really any information. Wait, which one's the shaping brush and which one's the smoothing brush? How am I supposed to know? How do you know which one's which? <laughs> Guys, straightening brush attachment. I'm thinking that might be this one. Because those are very straight, whereas this one's like more of a curved kind of thing. So maybe this one's smoothing. Cushion, yes, that one must be, yes, that one's smoothing. This one's straightening. So I think we're gonna use this one first. Actually, I think I'm gonna use this one first to just dry it a bit more. And then we'll go in with straightening, then we'll go in with smoothing. Bloody hell. Such a chore. So now we're going in with straightening. My hair's not going to be straight after this, guys. It's not even straight after the Dyson. I think it's more my technique than the product. Baby, you give me ice and fire. You're giving me wind and rain. I am back with straight-ish hair. 
considering how my hair normally looks after I dry it with a hairdryer, this is this is a lot better than usual. <laughs> you are you guys are lucky you have straight hair. But I'm not really sure what's left of my self-care evening. I think it's in my self-care bag. Yes, so <laughs> after a shower, I always put Vaseline on my brows. Just because on a day-to-day -day basis, I do put gel in my brows and I like having them slicked up. And I think it helps my confidence after a shower if I've still got them slicked up. So that's what I like to do with my little Vaseline. And also guys, I'm not going to do my skincare tilt tonight. So I don't know if that will be in the vlog, but to be honest, I post my skincare routine and skincare I love so often. But... I am going to be trying some new skincare over the next few weeks. Do you know what I love? When a brand says, oh, we're going to send you this stuff and if you like it, do an ad for us, whatever. The amount of brands I turn down, even though their product probably had potential, just because they want me to film and do the ad on the same day that I receive the product is ridiculous. So what I'm going to put on my eyelashes is the Indeed Laboratories. It's... Um, a little eyelash serum so you just twist it put it on there bob's your uncle <laughs> oh yeah and then i moisturize my body so i'm gonna moisturize my body with the paula's choice ultra rich soothing body butter is it soothing or yeah soothing i love this one and i also love the avino daily moisturizing body lotion I did use to use this on my face and then I realised I was pore clogging ingredients in it because they changed the formula. And then on my chest and back, I do get body acne. I've got this one pimple at the moment. And I'm just going to show you the skincare that I'm going to use on that. To be honest, on my chest and back, I do use really random stuff. Like I'll use multiple toners and sometimes I will use multiple exfoliants, which I would never do on my face because it would break my skin barrier. But... My chest and back, like they're always, they're always so fine with it. So I don't recommend necessarily you guys to do this, but this is what I do. So on my chest and back, <laughs> I first apply this toner from Revolution Skin. I might just do this with you guys, even though I'm wearing this. Just do it underneath. Right, so I first apply that toner, a very like light layer. It's 2% salicylic acid. We all know what it's trying to do. Miss Paula's choice. And then I use the Anua Heart Leaf Soothing Toner. So then we're like adding some hydration, you know, helping the redness, etc., etc. And then after that, I will either use the beta hydroxy acid from the inky list but at the moment i've been using the revolution skin aha bump eraser serum and i think the whole point of this is to stop ingrown hairs like when you're shaving but the aha in it has been like really good for my body acne so if it works it works you know what i mean don't fix something that's not broken it's working so if that's not what it's made for it's still working and then for moisturiser, I use the Simbright moisturiser from the Inky List. I think, has this got like vitamin C in or something? I don't know, it doesn't say, but it helps to brighten the skin. And I think it helps like with any, what's it called, hyperpigmentation or like acne scars. And my chest is really, really sensitive in terms of like, if I get a big pimple, it doesn't fade. Like, my chest is, like, one of those areas of my body that, like, if I get it in the sun, it will burn. So, I do have to be mindful of, like, acne scarring and stuff. I don't know if anyone else experiences this. I think it's just because of the texture of my hair. But after I've blow-dried it, it can sometimes feel a bit, like, sticky. Not as in, like, actually sticky to the touch, but as in, like, my hair will just, like, stick to my face and, like... I always just want to have it back. I might just put it in a little claw clip. Amazing. And my camera's about to die, so this is good timing. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed this little self-care evening video and I hope you have a fabulous week and a great day. <laughs> and if you're not subscribed already, subscribe for like hormone healthy meals, hormone healthy lifestyle, um, videos to help you with your acne and just like wellness videos in general. All of my social medias are always linked down below and I hope you have a great day. Bye.